The war in Iraq is officially over. In a ceremony attended by Defense Secretary Leon Panetta, troops today lowered the U.S. flag, bringing an end to the nearly nine-year conflict. Secretary Panetta told veterans of the war that they can be secure in knowing that their sacrifice has helped the Iraqi people to cast tyranny aside. For more on what comes next for post-war Iraq, we go to the KCBS Newsline and St. Mary's politics professor Hisham Ahmed, an expert in Middle East politics and U.S. foreign policy. Thanks very much for your time this afternoon. What is the first thing that Iraq needs to do to move forward? Well, thank you. <clears throat> well, for sure, the, head, uh, the road ahead for the Iraqis will undoubtedly be quite rocky. And the challenges, uh, for sure, will be plentiful. Uh, for one thing, uh, Iraqis have to engage in a limitless effort for state building all over again, especially after Iraq had one of the most solid state systems in the Arab world before the occupation in 2003. Iraqis will have also to focus on keeping their country intact and not to allow for its fragmentation into mini or city-states, if you will. Now, can the Iraqis uh, meet the challenges uh, in the future? Uh, for sure. Uh, I think Iraq is quite a resourceful country in terms of its natural and human resources, in spite of the massive destruction and the widespread killing of its scientists, uh, university professors, and talented uh, people, Iraq has realized and actually recall that in the 11th and 12th centuries, Baghdad was the center of learning and enlightenment for the whole world. Uh, Iraq is also known, I think, that Iraq has known one of humanity's first civilizations around the Euphrates, where uh, people first learned how to read, write, and adjudicate. So Iraq is really confirmed that no challenge is greater than that of being you know, forced to live uh, under foreign occupation, where occupation to them, among other things, means a total negation of their freedom, human dignity, and uh, the right uh, to have a normal life. Uh, certainly, I think this is a great opportunity uh, for, for Iraq to leave its imprint on human uh, culture and civilization, especially in the context of the uh, Arab Spring. In the 30 seconds we have left, what is the United States' role now? Well, uh, the United States will have to engage in very profound uh, soul-searching and uh, reflection uh, over such fateful decisions uh, to realize that getting involved in uh, uncalculated and adventurous wars uh, is quite harmful and destructive, not only for the peoples against whom it is launched, but also for the United States itself. And perhaps the United States will also have to make a sincere effort to formulate a program for vigorous compensation of all right. Well, we appreciate your thoughts. Professor Hisham Ahmed, he's an expert in Middle East politics and U.S. foreign policy at St. Mary's.